Hi there and welcome back. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a flourishy kind of line, uh, swoosh, vine type things in Illustrator. Things that you kind of see all the time that maybe you want to know how to do. Um, they're kind of overused a lot but uh, there's a time and a place for everything and it's good to know. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you do is you, uh, you draw a line and you can make it make it kind of interesting looking um, you know it doesn't have to be follow any rules or anything really it can be any line that you want pretty much and then what you do is you select one of these uh, flourishy brushes that comes along with Illustrator and there's your flourish and uh, tutorial over uh, you can change your colors and uh, pretty much uh, do anything with that I'm just joking. Uh, click uh, click Control Z so you can go back to your line and uh, this is how you make your own. Uh, you uh, go ahead and take your pen tool and draw kind of a small triangle and it doesn't have to be perfect just a triangle and uh, make it solid black and now uh, what you want to look at at this triangle is uh, you want the thickest part of your line is going to be as thick as the thickest part of this triangle and the thinnest is going to be as the thinnest part of this triangle so I don't even want my line quite that thick so I'm going to shrink down the end here a little bit and what I'll do is uh, let's pretend like this wasn't open I can show you how to get to it if you need to what you do is you'll open up your uh, symbols palette and you go to window symbols and that should open up. Or you could have gone to your brushes palette because that's uh, actually what we're going to be using. So brushes is under windows as well. So uh, select your brushes and what you'll do is drag this triangle right into your brushes palette and it'll ask you what kind of uh, new brush type you want. Select art brush. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to leave it that name for now. Um, change the colorization method to tints. You could do, you could do uh, tints and shades. Kind of play around with those and see what they do. Um, you know, that's kind of the name of the game. I'll select OK. And then now you can get rid of this triangle. And what you'll do is you select your line, you go to your brushes, and you click on the triangle that you just put in there. And what that does is that'll make what I just kind of explained earlier, this line here. And uh, if you want to make it more swirly at the end, you just grab your twirl tool, which I already have mine up there, but uh, you can, uh, it's right under the rotate tool, and you can, if it's not at the top, there, like say it's the width tool instead, you just hold down, you click and hold down and go down to the twirl tool, and you just go to the end of this line and twirl it around a little bit. And you see uh, that doesn't look that good. And I think it's because I made my line a little too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the eraser out. And this is a great thing about CS5, I can just erase a little bit of this line. Oops. I don't have that set up correctly. But anyway, um, I'm going to get rid of some of that line. Let's just get rid of this. Let's just get rid of this last anchor to make it easy. So I'll just take my uh, pen, negative pen tool and just get rid of that anchor. And I'll just leave it like that, pretty much. Just to make it easier on myself. Okay, I'll grab that twirl tool and get back to where we were. Kind of go on the outside here and just get the very tip of that line. And you're going to have to play around with it a little bit until you get it right. Or at least I am. You can get the basic idea there. Let me try it one more time. The problem is, is I'm not getting the very end of that line at any at any point in time. That looks okay. We'll go ahead and we'll stick with. No, no, we won't. We'll stick with that one, and we'll kind of just. What we'll do is we'll just I'll manipulate that a little bit. But you can take your time and make it work a little bit better. Okay, that's what we're gonna stick with right there. Uh, for now. 
you can certainly mess around and do a little more with it. I'll get rid of that. This will help. Um, get rid of some of these points here. This will help me. More of a swirl. Okay. Okay, uh, that's a little better. Let's even go back one or two. Right there. That's where I'm going to leave it for you guys. Okay, next thing, uh, that's that's pretty much it, actually. Um, certainly you can do a lot more to it. I'm going to just draw another line off of it with my pencil tool. You can do any sort of shape. And uh, just click your brush. That'll go right there. And, uh, oops. You can get rid of that stroke. You want to object and expand appearance, um, and then you can remove that stroke, and then you can kind of lay these over the top of each other so that they look like they're one thing. Uh, one thing that you can do is take the pen tool and uh, draw kind of a leaf shape. I've seen people do this before. Oops. I'll uh, just draw kind of a simple leaf shape. And kind of stick it on the end of... Whoops. Well, that actually looks kind of interesting. I'll leave that. Yep, yeah, I'll just do that. And this could be better, of course. But I'll leave it for... Now, just the way that it is. It's for you guys. Okay, and you can take that shape and simply uh, make sure we don't have a stroke on that. And, uh, we'll just draw, drag that. Uh, make it the size, about the size that you want. And we'll drag that into the symbols palette, which should be connected to the brushes. And we'll just click, uh, make sure the type is graphic. And we'll just click OK. New symbol. And we'll take this one, and here I'll show you how that works. You can just drag one out whenever you need one. And then you can put them wherever you want. Put one there. And you can just kind of customize it to however you want it to look. Oops. Take one, put it right there, shrink it down a little bit, maybe you'll take one out and give it a different color. If you double-click on it, you can select it directly and give it a different uh, color. Just take green there. Oh, and it looks like I changed the color. That's how you can change the color of uh, all the symbols. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to select one, and I'm going to go ahead and expand its appearance. And I just went to Object, Expand Appearance, and that's how you can change the color of just a single one. And I'll make this one black again. And yeah, we'll put that one there. Oops. Make sure that you have everything selected and group it. I'll put that one up there, like I said. Put it to the back. Bring it up one. Do something like that a little bit. Bigger. Turn it. Do a little customization. You can kind of do this on your own, whatever. Just 
You just kind of customize, make it look good. Whatever. Uh, you know, maybe that doesn't look too good, so we'll get rid of that one. Um, And that's pretty much it. You can certainly uh, change the color of these vines if you want. Make this one orange. Uh, let's see, is this one got a stroke on it probably? So, uh, try to expand the appearance of that one. Get rid of its stroke, and we'll just go ahead and send this one to the back. Yeah, and you can change the colors and do all sorts of fun stuff. You can add some text that follows along one of these by using, you know, draw a path along one of these. And get, grab your text tool. You'll just click it and go down to type on a path. And you can just type right on your path there. And you can just kind of keep adding those throughout there, and then you'll have your nice flourishy final product. And uh, that's pretty much it. I don't want to go on any longer. Um, I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk any longer. So that's the tutorial in a nutshell. Um, yeah. So I hope you uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, please tell your friends all that stuff. Uh, join the channel. Subscribe to the channel whatever it's called. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I should have a new one up soon. Alright. Thanks again.